Hi students, welcome back. In the part 1 video, we had discussed about the relation between E, L and A by 2. Today, we are going to study about the oleum of a pyramid. Okay, oleum of a square pyramid. Children, look at this picture here. We can imagine a right triangle with the perpendicular sides as the height of the pyramid and half the base edge and hypotenuse as the slant height. Okay, so using Pythagoras theorem, here we can make the relation between L, H and A by 2. L square equal to H square plus A by 2 the whole square. Therefore, L is equal to root of H square plus A by 2 the whole square. Similarly, H square equal to L square minus A by 2 the whole square. From this, H is equal to root of L square minus A by 2 the whole square. Next, what about the oleum of a square pyramid? The oleum of a square pyramid is equal to a third of the product of the base area and the height. The oleum of a square pyramid is equal to a third of the product of the base area and the height. V is equal to 1 by T A square H. Once again, V equal to 1 by 3 a square h next we are moving to the textual exercise questions on page number 194 first question on page number 193 you have to do it as a homework next question number two a square pyramid of base at 10 centimeters and height 12 centimeters is to be made of paper what should be the dimensions of the triangles? Dimensions means length of the sides. Here, base edge is equal to 10 cm and height of the pyramid is equal to 12 cm. We have to find the lateral edge, that means the sides of the triangle. Here, A equal to 10 cm and H is equal to 12 cm. Using A and H, first we have to find L because there is no relation between A, H and E. So, first we have to find L using A and H. L is equal to root of H square plus A by 2 the whole square, which is equal to root of 12 square plus 5 square. A equal to 10, so A by 2 equal to 5, which is equal to root of 144 plus 25. 12 square equal to 144 plus 5 square equal to 25 which is equal to root of 169 and it is equal to 13 centimeter. Next using A and L we have to find E. Okay. E is equal to root of L square plus A by 2 the whole square. E is equal to root of L square plus A by 2 the whole square and it is equal to 13 root of 13 square plus 5 square A by 2 the whole square equal to 5 square which is equal to root of 169 plus 25 which is equal to root of 194 E equal to root of 194 centimeter as we all know that the triangles around the square pyramids are isosceles triangles so its two sides are equal therefore the sides of the triangle are 10 centimeter root 94 centimeter and root 94 centimeter next question number three prove that in any square pyramid the squares of the height slant height and lateral edge are in arithmetic sequence okay here we have to prove that h square 
comma l square and e square are in arithmetic sequence so first we have to take h square as equation number 1 next l square is equal to h square plus a by 2 the whole square okay l square equal to h square plus a by 2 the whole square this is equation number 2 next we need e square so e square is equal to l square plus a by 2 the whole square e square is equal to l square plus a by 2 the whole square from equation 2 we can write l square equal to h square plus a by 2 the whole square plus a by 2 the whole square so which is equal to h square plus a by 2 the whole square plus a by 2 the whole square is equal to 2 a by 2 the whole square so which is equal to h square plus 2 into a square by 4 2 square equal to 4 here we can cancel 2 and 4 and we can write h square plus a square by 2 so e square equal to h square plus a square by 2 equation number 3 from 1 2 and 3 we can form a sequence of h square comma l square comma e square etc as h square comma h square plus a square by 4 comma h square plus a square by 2 etc next we have to check whether it is an arithmetic sequence or not for that we have to find its common difference d equal to second term minus first term that means h square plus a square by 4 minus h square which is equal to a square by 4 next common difference d equal to third term minus second term and it is equal to h square plus a square by 2 minus of h square plus a square by 4 so we can write h square plus a square by 2 minus h square minus a square by 4 h square and h square cancel then a square by 2 minus a square by 4 cross multiply each other we get 4 a square minus 2 a square by 8 and it is equal to 2 a square by 8 okay 4 a square minus 2 a square is 2 a square by 8 which is equal to a square by 4 this shows that the common difference is same here this shows that h square comma l square comma e square forms an arithmetic sequence